Today we're going to create a georeferenced PDF for the Avenza Maps app using the old USGS topographic maps that are available through ArcGIS. As a first step, we bring in the topo maps through File, Add Data, Add Base Map. Scroll down to USA Topo Maps, Add. And this will load in a layer that changes as you zoom in or zoom out. Let's go ahead and zoom in on northern Maine here. Here's sort of the uh, central ridge of Aroostook County. Let's say we're planning a trip to uh, Dabooli Pond. Zoom out a little bit so we have Gardner Pond as well. There we go. All right, so we want this to be in landscape orientation and we want this to have no margins when we export this map. We can change layout. Eight and a half by 11 landscape. Right click on Layers, Properties. This gets you into the properties of the data frame. I'm going to go to the Size and Position tab. Position 0, 0, which will lock it down to the bottom left corner. And then the Size 11 by 8.5, which matches our 8.5 by 11 page size. OK. Now let's do a final zoom in on the area we care about. You see how this has changed from the uh, nice sharp map we had a moment ago to this uh, coarser map? That's because we zoomed out. Zoom right in on the lakes, and there we go. That snaps us into the higher resolution, smaller scale map. Just adjust that a touch. And now we are ready to export as a georeferenced PDF. File, Export Map. We want to save as type PDF. We're going to use 200 dots per inch. We're going to go to the Advanced tab and make sure that we have the box that says Export Map Georeference Information. Call this Dabooli Ponds save and that will generate us a georeferenced PDF of this map of the Dabooli Ponds which we can email to ourselves or otherwise bring into the uh, cell phone bring that into the Avenza Maps smartphone app and once you've brought that in if you are within the area of this map you'll see a little dot that represents where you are and that will work whether or not you're within cell service range because it's working off the GPS that's internal to your smartphone.